Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Hey, good evening, guys. Welcome back to Deco Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great this evening. Right now, I want to show you how you can make an awesome baby flyer on your Android smartphone. It's your boy, Deco Graphic. Today, you are going to learn three tricks on how to achieve this. The first thing is I'm introducing a particular application called PSC and PSC Touch. I will tell you the difference between the two because at the end of the this out training you might be wondering if you could not be able to maybe blend uh, 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 the image as i'm going to show you here so that's why i'm going to make a clarification about the two app the two app does the same functions so the first thing is you are going to learn is to how you can blend your image that can make it go along with any background as we always use a color blend a color to uh, 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 use a gradient to blend our images We're using any kind of a pattern to blend our image on our pizza lab. so i'm going to show you how you can blend only an image that can fit in on any background that's the first thing and the second thing is that how you can use any element here how you can use any element here that will work perfectly any element that will work perfectly on your design so without wasting much of our time, uh, 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 the last thing, which is the task thing, third thing, is uh, how we can uh, achieve the design on its own. So the first thing we need to do now is, uh, this is my PC lab, let's head in directly into the PSCC or the PSC Touch. So let's look at this, PSCC and PSC Touch. The difference between these two applications is this. I decided to download the two. One is working, the second one cannot work. And the reason is this. When it, one is meant for an Android 10 version of what, why the second one is meant for Android uh, 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 below 10 version, operating system below 10 version. So when you look at the uh, 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 PSCC, the PSCC can work perfectly on my phone because my Android phone is... Uh, above uh, 10 uh, android 10 why the ps touch cannot work because my android fashion is beyond that so if you click on android touch i mean ps touch it will keep on closing because the android version is higher than what is supposed to hand you can see right so the next thing we need to do is uh, we click on the ps cc what we need to do is to click on ps cc so after you open it, whether you open PSCC or you open on PSC Touch, what you need to do is uh, you will see this as an interface. You will see this as an interface. Then after seeing this, the next thing you are going to do is to just tap on this uh, image that is having a uh, uh, plus. Then when you click on it, it asks you what you want to do. You click on photo gallery because we want to select an image from this particular uh, folder photo room then you can select any other image you want to blend just choose the folder of your choice so let's take it for instance let me choose uh, this particular image then you click add now you've seen this after seeing this i want to blend the bottom so that i can match and work along with any background click on this uh, plus sign and what i want to do is uh I will blur this particular area i will blend it to make sure that uh, it work along with any background click on this and sign then you click on fade now you can see when Don't you want to fade to it you see this there are variety of options here you see when you click on any the next thing you can do is that bring this one down bring it down as this then the second one bring the arrow down because we want to blur blend the background So which you can see right so we bring it here then we blend this particular background just as this don't blend it too much because it's too sharp and uh, before you realize you discover that all the bottom background image uh, 
will be blending automatically that you will not even see the traces of the image so after using these two keyframes to blend it what you need to do next is that just shift it up a little bit so that it can actually work uh, along with any background so don't let it move to one side and another so after that click ok then the next thing you need to do is to click on done and click on save this way now it's not going directly to your gallery you might be looking if i didn't explain this and you can see adobe photoshop touch why you see the first one that is not working is touch why this one that is watching is cc it's just an upgrade it's the same thing so how can you save it on your gallery this thing that is just row save just save on this particular application how to save just click on this uh, icon that is arrow pointing to the right then you click on save with gallery select the type of uh, 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 saving mode you want then click on the save or you click on any one you have done before click on ok then you can see automatically the window has closed after closing it what you need to do is to add in directly to your gallery then let's go there we'll go to import our background that we want to use take it for instance i want to use this particular background as you can see because it, it has a kind of a color relating to the image now click on plus sign and you import the image that we just save now just look at the bottom now you can see then you see automatically the thing is blend let me go and bring the image that the image that uh, uh before i blend it let me go and bring it for you for you to see so the image is just like uh, this so let me show you the image uh, so look at it this is the image before save and look at it i mean before blend then look at it after blending so you can see categorically so after that in the next thing you do is to just make sure the face click on crop and move it to this side which will be the perfect direction so after that the next thing you need to do is to just uh, reposition very well if possible so you move this one to the top or you leave it this way so after that uh, there are many things that we need to do there is a kind of uh, there is a shape which we are going to bring in so we'll go here and bring this already uh, design or, or text just as this so which we are going to bring here as you can see so after position it here we can increase the size a little bit and have it cover the the bottom a little bit just as this so after making it that way the next thing we need to do is to just uh is to just bring this one upward a bit just as this uh or we'll bring it to one side or another side or it could be here or we'll bring it whatever you want uh, anyhow you want to place it just place it perfectly and let it work well so after putting this in exactly like this the next thing we need to do is to or we can increase the size a bit to make it uh, more uh, adorable so in such a situation we need to reduce the size of this a little bit then have it position to the middle then we can bring the our text don't uh, forget uh, to hit uh, the subscribe button and the bell the icon want. so after putting the text we have the two being lack then the next thing we can do uh, after that is to just uh, go to our where we have all our where we have all our elements so we'll go here then the first thing we need to do is to just uh, bring all this uh, pattern one after the other so we we'll bring this one we we'll bring this one then we we'll go to the color and uh, add uh, uh, we turn the color to white then we show ju just like two or three line we should in we should be here then after that we go here by making bringing another uh, uh, element so which i'm going to just introduce right now so i'm bringing this in so we we'll scroll down so i'm bringing this in so after bringing this then we can uh, actually uh, position it here after redu reduction so we have it around here so now what i'm going to do is to just uh, position this around here as well so position it and let this uh, reduce it a little bit then we have a position here so after that the next thing i will tell you the reason why i'm 
much moving in that way so we have this which we are going to reduce after reduction then we can rotate it just as this i want to make sure that all the elements are well utilized so i'll position it as a red image so then the rotation you can see it rotate to one side than another then we copy we will have to rotate it as well so that it can still fit in at this particular direction then when you look at it everything is what is being cooked then we will act we will actually have a better resource so now we have all this uh, plus sign which we can actually uh, 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 use to make uh, this one adorable just as this so after making it this way just have a position here then you can send it to the back then you can look at the result then i can have the same thing being rotated to this particular side so after rotating it i can look at it if it can perfectly fit in here then you look at it everything what everything look adorable then the next thing i want to do after that i want to try whether there will a ring light effect can actually work around here so just as perfect as this so you can actually see how i want this to work out so let's look at it if i make it like this okay okay if i make it like this whether it can actually work so which means i have to send this to the back then I have another copy then reposition to the to this side another copy so after reposition i have to cut it in 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 different way as you can see i need to cut it in different way but this has already closer to uh, the mouth as you can see so i need to cut some other parts so let's take it for instance i bring this in whether it can work we just want to try so i have to erase this mouth so after you raising it then we can see whether it will actually uh, work the way we want so let's look at it so okay perfect which means this is actually work right so after that the next thing that we need to do is to just uh, do the same thing to the upper part so you can zoom out so that you'll be able to cut out this particular area so we cut out this particular area then we click ok we can see categorically that uh, this thing cover everything and we can actually see how the result look so now it will remain one uh, particular area which we might decide to even cut out whether it will actually work so let's take it for instance maybe the top, top upper part uh, we can we can just eliminate everything to see how it will look so so or that if we do it this way but uh, there is another thing i want us to look into whether if we have this whether we can just uh, bring this one in we want, just want to try whether it will actually work so if it doesn't work we are going to just remove it at once so we have this uh, we have everything like this which we want to try so when we look at it now everything seems uh, uh, adorable right so the upper part where we left it traces so we need to just uh, close that to make it uh, work perfectly so around this place we cut it just as this so you can actually see how everything work so when we look at it uh, uh, basically you can see the everything really work but the upper part are not really accurate as we can see so what we need to do at that particular period is uh, maybe we should just make it this way the bottom one which is the the bottom one that we're having which is uh, this or this that we're having we can just uh, bring it up just as this so after bringing it up we may, I, will, I will just come here then have it cut out so uh, we cut it uh, let's cut this particular area uh, then we cut this as well so after cutting it then we have uh, this particular result so having the results can just uh, make the whole system work 
so we just position it around there so and uh, when you look at uh, how everything look you can see categorically so now the next thing we need to do is that second to the last can still be adjusted so we come here then we just have everything about this being erased so let's just erase everything so after erasing it we can just uh, do a kind of a adjustment to everything so by making sure that uh, we are not overlapping just look at this the way it was so which means we need to just uh, center everything to work well so just look at this and only thing we needed here is just uh, the bottom one so what we need to do what we need to do is to just delete everything about this so after deleting you can see we have a better result so the same thing after we lock this and expose this so when you expose this you look at it critically can it work the way you actually wanted so what we need to do is to just uh, delete the mouse just as this so you zoom it out then we have everything being deleted just as this so we'll look at it and when you look at it critically you can see that uh, everything is uh, actually plumb so you look at it so the next thing i want us to do is to just uh, make sure that uh, so since we want to just this place so we just position it just manually then every other thing can be just cut off so we we'll reposition then we use this now so since we want to use just this particular area so we can just uh, amend and uh, edit everything to look more reasonable it's just as perfect as this then you let the mouth close just as this so everything is actually plumb when you can see so now cool you look at it our own aim and objective is to just uh, make sure that uh, everything look real you understand we we'll make sure that everything look real so when when you look at it the way it was it look uh, awesome so after this the next thing we need to do you can see right we can merge the whole thing and we apply the color or we leave it this way to make uh, everything actually work so we can we can just uh we can just write the name so where we have happy uh, uh we just have david 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 johnson 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 alex then we'll go to the font area so select the kind of font you actually wanted to use so let's try achievo which is supposed to be around here so we try achievo so achievo can be around here so we 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 are going to centralize first just as perfect as this so after after centralization then the next thing we need to do is to just uh, send it to the back so we have this so we can we can to make uh, this thing work to make this work we can just uh, i want to see okay fine the next thing we need to do is to just uh, use our uh, our mask then you bring it towards here which you can see so that it will not uh, affect this much you can see right so after that the next thing you need to just uh, do is to just click ok then you copy after copy come to the max and click out so now you have this as your result right so you can actually position this here and why because we don't want it to affect so and you can re-edit this if you actually wanted and what we can do is to just uh, uh, uh turn on the mask then you cut it towards the edge and uh, you have a position around here but if you cut it too much it won't be okay 
so you can bring out everything everything just as this then we can reduce the size reduce the size even if you possible go to 3d and you have it uh, change the position so that it won't show then you look at it now everything is actually cool so that one will give you an avenue to have this position very well as you can see so you can use the measurement to see whether everything is actually in line so now we have david johnson alex and have a happy uh, uh, birthday so you can see everything so now the next thing we can do is just as simple as this right so the next thing we can do we can have, have an effect if we actually wanted by going in there then we have this particular effect so which we are going to just uh, bring around here uh, we are going to just bring around this here then we use our opacity to reduce it a little bit so which you can see we reduce to something like 15 and uh, at the end of the day this is just a simple trick on how you can come up with a birthday flyer on your android smartphone i believe we'll learn something from here this is not any areas over this i just thought of just come up with something ransacking my brain and come up with something awesome as this thanks for watching god bless you just make sure you save with ultra then as a png